Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this gaming keyboard made by T-Well. Now this is a $46 uh, mechanical keyboard that you can find on Amazon. Links will be in the description below. And uh, I guess there's not much more to say about it, so let's go ahead and show, show you around the box. So um, from what I could tell from the Amazon photos and everything and reviews, this thing is really cool. It has LEDs across the entire thing. It's mechanical. And apparently it's just a really, really good keyboard. So uh, on the front here, I assume what is the model number right there? You can see there on the side, we have a label. If you want to look at that. On the back, not really much. And then on the side here, gaming mechanical keyboard. So uh, I guess let's go in and get into it. So looks like a pull here. And uh, pull that out. And okay, so okay, so this is the little palm rest, arm rest, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let's get that out. Now this is obviously removable because it's not on it. Uh, you can take it on and off, just depends on what you prefer. So here it is. Um, it feels just pretty much plastic. It, I mean, it feels all right. Bent a little there, pop too. Um, anyways, it feels, I mean, it's kind of sturdy. But personally, I wouldn't use it. I guess if you really want to, if you're gonna be, you know, playing games for hours at a time, you could use this if you want. Uh, set that off to the side, and here is the keyboard, so nice weight, and okay. So this, I I might be wrong, but from what I could tell in the Amazon listing is that you could pop the uh, little keys off, so I believe that's what this is for. Um, let's go and get the keyboard out of here, so there we go. And it looks very, very nice. Focus the camera here. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Here's a little dial here. It's a very nice keyboard so far. Let's go ahead and set the box off to the side. And uh, here it is. Very nice cable. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it, see how long it is, and I'm also going to plug it in so we could look at the LEDs real quick. So, oh yeah, very long cord, definitely. So this will definitely probably work for you. Um, okay, let's plug this into a USB port. Okay. Either I have to turn it on or this USB port isn't supplying enough energy. All right, I'm going to have to find out how to work this thing. I'll uh, go ahead and get back with you guys when I figure out how. Okay, so apparently this thing doesn't accept power from something like a uh, USB wall brick, such as this Apple one, or just a, you know, a USB port on a, like a power strip, for example. And, you know, there's no reason for this to be working with a power strip or a wall brick or anything because... It's a keyboard, and uh, I was just doing that, obviously, for demonstrational purposes, just to show you the LED lights. But um, I guess we're going to have to plug it into a laptop, so let's go and try that. Here I have the USB, here I have a uh, MacBook Air, and let's plug it in on this side. And give it a second, and there you go. They're all lighting up, and you really can't see it that well on camera. Um... Tell you what, I will go ahead and turn off these lights, or at least most of them. Turn off all the lights here, pretty much all of them at least. And there you go. You can see here this little ring up here is on. There we go. I have to figure out how to work this thing. So you can see as you type, like for example, spacebar, lights up the entire thing. So if you're typing nonstop, that is so cool. That looks really, really cool in real life. That is awesome. Let's go and see if I bring up the... Okay, those are flashing for some reason. I don't know what that does. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out what all these buttons do and like why when you turn this up, those blink. But this thing is so, so far just really cool. Let's see here, clicking it. What does that do? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out how to basically work this thing, but that's what it looks like. That's very cool. All right, so it's about a day later, and I've uh, basically played with this thing for a few hours. And let me tell you, so far with me just messing around with this for a little while, this thing seems to be really, really nice. Um, number one, the colors are just so cool. It really can't pick them well up on camera, and that's just because that's the way the camera is. See if I zoom in or anything, yeah, you can't really tell much of a difference, but they look really cool. Maybe, maybe if I bring down the brightness. Yeah, there you go. Now you can kind of see it. They are really bright and really cool looking in real life. They work very well. Um, I really like the color scheme here. You know, it's blue here in the main, red up here, you know, yellow over here, a little bit of red over here. This thing just seems really cool overall. Um, now to change the LED, um, lighting and stuff. So to bring down the brightness on the LEDs themselves, what you have to do is get this little knob right here. Can't really see my finger. I'm going to, yeah, raise the brightness a little bit there. You can see here, right here, this little knob, um, you turn this. Okay. So I'm turning it and it starts catching after a minute. There you go. Now it's starting to bring down the brightness you can see there. And now that's it all the way down. And you might have wondered why those uh, lights blinked right there. No, those are for like the num lock, uh, caps lock, etc. But uh, when the brightness is either all the way down or all the way up, those will blink. So just like you know, so obviously it's all the way down. So they just uh, blinked because brightness is all the way down. Now see if I bring it all the way up. It blinked again and now the brightness is all the way up. So that's pretty nice. It lets you know uh, when it's at its lowest or when it's at its highest. So that's very cool. And now to change the, uh, gosh, I don't know what to call it, but basically to change it from just a normal, you know, plane with the LEDs on all the time, to change that, um, I don't know the right name, but you guys could probably tell what I mean in a minute when I do it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna press down on the actual circle itself. In the center, there's a little button to mute the music. Don't press on that. That won't change anything except, uh, of course, muting the music or audio on your computer. So if we actually click down on the button or on the ring itself, you can see it changes, changes this around. So over here, uh, I believe the reason they mainly have these lit, lit up over here is because of uh, WASD, which is basically up and down, back and forth arrows, but basically gamers for some reason use WASD for some reason. And then over here, we just have some other buttons lit up. Now, if we press this again, you can see now it changed it. Now, I believe there is 19 built-in presets. And you can see here, it uh, gets bright, goes down, gets bright again. It just slowly does that over time. Now, if we press this, you can see there, it's basically the same thing we had before. And now if we press it again, you can see there, that's what it does. I'm gonna bring down the brightness a little bit again. There you go. It's very cool so far. Now I'm gonna go through a few of these just to show you. There's another one, this one. That one I actually really like, that's kind of cool. That one. And then this one. And I believe, yeah, see this is the one that I originally had it set to. So if you press, for example, the space bar, it'll go from the space bar, it'll go out. Now if I press the button over here, it'll go that way. Now if I press the button right here, It'll go that way. So that's very cool. I really like that. If I press this again, you can see there it just lights up a little bit of a strip. And then I believe, okay, yeah. So if you, yeah, that's kind of cool. So like if you press a button, for example, the enter button right here, it'll basically only light up that strip. If I press the space bar, it'll light up only that strip. So that's really cool. And then there's just one button lit up, I don't believe, oh no, oh that's cool. So like if, uh, for example, you press this button here, 
it'll light up for a minute and then it'll go off in a second. That's really cool. I really like that. Uh oh, computer didn't like that. Anyways, if you give it just a second, you can see it turns off. So that's very nice. Press it again. There's another one. Okay, so this is kind of like the opposite of the one I showed you a minute ago where um, it was off and then I press a button and it lights up. This is like it's lit up. You press a button and it goes dim. There's another one. This one here. This one and I'm just going to probably do one more. And then that one. And then there's, you know, a few other ones. Um, overall, the presets that are built in are very cool. I'm really impressed by them. And they seem pretty creative. I mean, like, this one is pretty cool. I gotta say. I really like it. Um, there's that one. This one. Oh, yeah, that one. The little wave-looking one. And then I believe this is back from where we started. So that's all the presets. And now... Um, to go into what they call multimedia mode, and in fact, I'm going to bring the, uh, actually, I'm going to stop the clip and then bring the light back down so then you can see this thing a little bit better. Okay, so now I have just one light pointing down at this. Obviously, you can't see the LEDs as good now, but we're basically done uh, showcasing the LED part. So to change it into multimedia mode, and uh, that's basically to change around your volume, and um, to mute the volume and stuff like that. So normally, if you just have it in like gaming mode right now, you know where you have the LEDs lit up and stuff, if you press the button right here, uh, it will do nothing. It won't mute your volume or anything. I'm doing it right now. Oh, that's cool. Kind of, oh no, I'm pressing the little ring. Okay, so if I press just right on this little button in the center, it does not do anything on the computer. So that doesn't mute it or anything. Basically right now it's just changing around your uh, effects on the keyboard. So to get it into multimedia mode, what you need to do is press down on the ring for just a few seconds, I believe it's three seconds. There you go. And now if I turn this knob, yep, there you go. On my computer, which you can't see right now, I'll try to get you guys to see it in a minute. Like right now I'm turning the volume, it's all the way up. Now if I bring it down, yep, it's going down. And if I press the mute button, uh, yep, it just muted itself. So that's very cool. Um, I guess I can go ahead and move this keyboard off to the side here. But just enough for you to see when I move the volume that it actually changes it. And bring the computer over here. This is not a good setup, but it will do the job. So right here, I have the knob. You can see I'm bringing it up and it's going up and then I'm bringing it down and it's going down and then if I press the mute button you can see there it just got muted so that's very cool and then to get it out of multimedia mode I assume you press and hold that button and yep sure enough so when that ring appears around the uh well around the ring when the LED ring appears around the ring uh, that's when you know you're out of multimedia mode. Okay, so that's really about it for this keyboard. Now, before you guys go, no, this isn't the end of the video. I'm just going to go over a few little small things now. So, uh, for example, the buttons. Okay, so right up here, there is a, uh, uh, button here, M3, to go forward. So, for example, if you're on a song, you don't like that song or something, you click that button, and it will go on to the next song. This one right here is the pause button, and then this one right here is to go, uh, I guess you would call it forward. So, for example, if you're on a song, you don't like it or something, and uh, you want to go to the previous song, you press that, and it will do that. Now, I don't have any songs on this computer, but that's what would what you would do if you're, for example, in like multimedia mode. Now, for these little LEDs down here, right here where my finger is, those just, once again, aren't for the brightness to let you know when it's all the way up. For example, right now it's all the way up, and I'm uh, still turning this knob, and it's indicating that's all the way up. Now, that isn't just for that. It's also for the indication that you have, for example, a uh, caps lock on. Focus the camera. Caps lock. You can see there that button or that uh, symbol just went on. 
the LED. So if I click it off, there you go. And now actually one thing I wanted to check out is uh, how this little palm rest thing attaches as I knock down a bunch of boxes. Anyway, so here it is. I um, haven't even used this part actually. Now I just want to see. I'm assuming it clips on by magnets. So if I get, oh yeah. Yep, I felt it from a far away. It, uh, yeah, that's very strong magnets too. See there, like I'm pressing on it. It's not really going anywhere. There you go. Now it kind of got out of place. If I just go like this, it just goes right into place. That's very cool. So that's held on by magnets in case you're wondering. And uh, I guess that's really it. Um, I guess we can check out the bottom of this keyboard real quick just to show you. Okay, so it does have these little feet, I guess you want to call them. So you put these up and it'll have the keyboard a little bit raised up back here. So uh, that's really it for this keyboard. I guess what I'll go ahead and do now is stop the clip and turn on all the lights and uh, give you guys my final opinions. Okay, so just one quick last little thing that I wanted to go over is this little tool right here. This came in the box itself and I am still 99% sure this is to remove the keys. So uh, it looks like you just go like this. You basically put it over the key. I'm just going to try it on the F12 key. Or no, it goes like this. Okay, so it goes like that for example and then you just pull up on it. I don't know. There you go. It just takes a little bit of force and you can see there this key popped right off and uh, I could go ahead and put it back right into place and there you go. It's on just like that. It's not falling off or anything. Um, it does seem to be easier just to use your fingers instead of the little tools. So if you, for example, I don't know, got one of these really like dirty or something and you just wanted to wash it, just pop off one of the keycaps and just like that came off and then you could wash it underwater or whatever. Um, or if you got, you know, dirt or I don't know, for example, ketchup or something under here, like in between the keys, which sounds kind of gross, but I'm sure it's happened and you wanted to clean that out to make it a lot easier. Just pop off the keycaps and uh, you could get in there a lot easier. So, uh, I guess it's time for my final opinion. So overall, what do I think of this keyboard? And well, my computer is just not liking this, so it's going to close you up. Um, so overall, what do I think of this keyboard? I think it's really cool. I really like this thing. Um, and obviously, it just went off there. I was kind of wondering why. It's because it closed the lid and that cut off power to the USB ports. So uh, overall, I am really impressed by this keyboard. It seems very well uh, just made and everything for the price. Uh, build quality seems really good. For the keys themselves, they feel really nice. I really like the clickiness they got to them and just that, that sound. Just so good. And um, I really like also the LED aspect of them. They work so good. They are really bright. And, uh, you know, if you find maybe they're too bright for you or something, just bring down the brightness. It's very cool that it has that option and then it has all of those uh, presets built into it. So uh, I guess if you're looking for a very good, um, well-priced uh, gaming keyboard, go pick one of these up. Uh, links will be in the description below. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.